Today, I'm going to teach you guys how to tween on a light motion. I'm using Gotcha Light for this, but this is how you get to the body sheet. Slow down the video if you need to. Now, open up um, Ibis Paint, and what I do first is I remove the background. And if you're on iPhone like I am, then there's going to be like the stuff outside. So like the phone screen, basically. Um, just remove that because we don't need that in our body sheet at all. Okay, so now I'm going to click on the box and I'm gonna click clear layer and then remove selection area. Don't do what I did, but unless you um, want your arm to be in the way of it, put it onto your torso. It was not helpful for me, but yeah. Um, Afterwards, you will use your eraser to get rid of any of the gray lines. And I forgot to mention this in the beginning, but you need a gray background for this. You can use a green one too, but gray works better for Ibis Paint. So make sure the gray lines are not visible and make sure not to like, um, you know, um, erase any of the uh, color on your OC or any of the parts of your OC by accident. And then what you're gonna do, on if you see any patches like on the legs that don't have color on them, just color it in uh, with um, the marker. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to edit my OC in the way that I want it to look. And now what you're going to do is, this part's like so surprisingly fast, but it goes, let me just put the list on the screen. Um, this is what you will select and duplicate um, for each layer. Now I forgot to do this when editing, but this is very optional. If you want, you can use the bucket tool to change the outline of your OC and I feel like it just, depending on the color, it just makes it a lot more vibrant and just honestly looks better, but it's your choice so you don't have to do it if you don't want to. This is something also optional, but I went to Pinterest and I got um, a few images. Just make sure that they're free to use. And I added a f like one accessory to my OC. So you can add as many as you want, but I just used one. By the way, I 
steps I forgot to mention this. Take a screenshot of your Gotcha OC so you have a base of how to place it. Then what you are going to do is you're just gonna bring that all the way to the bottom and lower the occupacity. And then what you can start doing is you can start um, using the transform button and it won't be exact because it's a different size. The um, uh, body sheet is a different size than like the pictures. So just get it as close as possible. It's easier for me because I have done this before, but um, you will um, just, just go with your gut where you think it is. If it doesn't look right the first time, then just try and fix it up a bit and then we will get to the next step. Then after that, you are going to go to the layer thing and the three dots go to the head and then all the way down, you click save layer as transparent PNG and that will save all of the images separately instead of saving it as one whole thing. So just go through all of them aside from the picture of your OC. Then go to a light motion. This is the ratio I'm using and use a green background for this. And um, then you're gonna go to media and click on the six boxes and then pull from the hair and just go down until you reach the head. So select all of them. And then you're gonna hold down on the side and then it's gonna turn green. I'm sorry, I'm bad at explaining, but, and after you do that, just zoom them all in. Then click on the head and click move and transform and then click on the move thing that you're on already to get to a pivot point. The way that I'm going to explain a pivot point is basically a dot that will show um, where it will rotate from. So it's like a little dot, it's a circle and it'll kind of spin around like where the circle is, I would say. So it will keep it connected to a body part without like disconnecting itself basically. After putting the pivot point where I'm showing you, um, use the rotate thing just to make sure like you, it's like not dislocating or anything like that. Even if it is and you can't get close enough, it's okay. Just do what you can by now if you're a beginner. What you're going to click is try it first unless you are on android it'll probably ask you to watch an ad but i recommend before that you name all your layers because otherwise you might get messed up so mainly every single thing is going to go to the torso um but the torso will not go to anything but left hand like hands go to the shoulder and the feet go to the thighs so once you have those the thighs can go to the torso and so can the shoulders so don't get yourself messed up on that one um and the back hair does not go to the torso, it goes to um, the head. After doing that, you if you move your torso, um, your whole OC is going to move. Just make sure you didn't accidentally move the pivot point like I did. Afterwards, you're going to go to Effect and Add Effect. And you are going to type up Parenting, and that will show Parenting Helper. What you're going to do is, head is going to be on normal but you're gonna put on locked and copy effect and then put it back on normal so up until the torso everything else 
is going to be locked. So if you just click those three dots at the bottom of the effect screen, you will click paste effect. So it will just be the same thing until you reach like the torso and stuff. And yeah, so at the um, back hair, you can either um, have it at normal or locked. Normal makes it go along with the head so it just stays stiff. But if you don't want it to be stiff and you want your hair to move, then keep it at locked. And for the sake of my animation, I want my hair to move. So, yeah. This is what it looks like normal, by the way. And congratulations, you can finally start um, doing your animations. Please, please, please use graphs. Um, my thing will show you, my recording will show you how to put in keyframes if you don't know how to. And we'll just like show you easily. Um, yeah, to get to the better graphs though, just watch an ad. So I hope you guys thought this video helped you out a lot. I hope it helped you. I'm sorry it was fast. If you need to, please slow the video down or you can find a different tutorial, but I hope this helped. Hope you have a great day, evening, night, afternoon, whatever time it is for you. And yeah, okay, bye.